This is a fun question uh, with a popper, a toy that basically works with a spring. You push it down, it compresses, stores energy in the spring, and then at some point when the suction releases, most of that uh, potential energy stored in the spring goes into kinetic energy. This thing goes up, reaches some height where the remaining energy is in potential energy. So the first question asks us to figure out, well, how much potential energy is stored in this spring? To calculate the potential energy stored in the spring, we're going to use the 1 half k x squared equation right from the reference table. This 150 newtons per meter is the value of k. k is the spring constant. It's basically a measure of how strong the spring is. How many newtons you would have to apply to it to make it stretch one meter from its rest position. And this 0 0.5 meters is the amount that the spring is going to be, uh, in this case, compressed, or in other cases, stretched. So that's the distance x. So you just plug in 1 half. K is 150 newtons per meter. X is 0 0.05 meters. Now sometimes this will be in centimeters and you'll have to convert this to meters because if you want to get joules, the units here have to be newtons per meter and the units here have to be uh, meters. At least that's the easiest way to, to get it. And, and don't forget to square that. When you plug that into your calculator, you should get a potential energy of 0 0.1875 joules. So that's the potential energy stored in that spring. The next part of the question says, well, once the spring releases and this thing goes up, at its highest point, how high is it? Well, what we're going to assume there is that all of the uh, potential energy that was in the spring is going to go into uh, the gravitational potential energy at the top. Now in reality you might lose some due to drag and, and uh, noise and, and internal energy, but we're going to assume that it all goes into the spring. So what we're saying is that the total mechanical energy before equals the total mechanical energy after. Before all of that was potential energy in a spring and afterwards, all of that was potential energy due to gravity. So what we're saying is that 0 0.1875 joules of energy that had been stored in the spring is now going into mgh. So we're saying 0 0.75, 0 0.1875 joules equals the mass, which we're told is 0 0.2 kilograms. And the G is 9.8 meters per second squared. And H is what we're looking for. So when you divide <coughs> 0 0.2 times 9.8, divide that over, you're going to get an H that is 0 0.96 meters. That's a fun toy.